from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Reports. Original equipment manufacturer Babcock International Group's South African fabrication plant is enabling benefits for the company with it providing an in-house manufacturing facility, and the company will now be looking to bolster this. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Babcock International Group Fabrication and Resources GM Eddie Enslin indicates that new updates and technology will be installed over the next year or so in the plant. He provides an overview of the company as well as an overview of the fabrication plant. In South Africa, we are currently in the, in the um, boiler environments and boiler generation environment or power generation environments. We normally do maintenance and projects um, with the, our clients like ISTEM. We also service the industrial sectors, which is um, the sassels, the sappies, the pulp and paper, um, um, etc. We do quite a bit of work outside of Africa as well, um, Botash, um, for example, as well as some work in Mozambique as well. But it's all power generation related or um, industrial sector to, um, related. Um, more than that, in terms of Babcock on the whole, we have the Volvo division and the DAF division that supplies uh, mining equipment and, and, and trucking. Um, we've got the full in-house engineering service, um, so we do design from start to finish, as well as construction capability and obviously the manufacturing capability as well for our projects. Fabrication was started in 1993, so it's just about 30 years that we're in business. Um, we realized the need for an in-house manufacturing facility within um, the Babcock structure, so obviously Babcock fabrication was formed. Now we generally do mainly pressure part work. Um, um, we do mud drums, stub boxes, manipulations. Um, we do some structural work as well, specialized work like the h filling economizers or h filling of tubes. Um, as well as the hot press bins, which is something that um, um, is limited in terms of, of, of people that are capable to do it within South Africa. We currently employ just in excess of 40 people at the moment so that are permanent, um, um, permanently based at uh, the fabrication uh, shop. When we require additional resources, we get them in on, the, uh, on a temporary basis. The output is literally dependent on the, on, on the layouts and the process and the urgency of the work. We have emergency breakdowns. Um, where everything else comes to a stop, planned work comes to a stop, and obviously we assist our clients. So we, it depends on the delivery dates as well as the, the, the amount of breakdowns that we get um, in a day. But in principle, we generally don't miss our deadlines unless there's some serious interruptions. Um, and the output will be based on, on the production plan and the requirements from our clients. And then expands on the benefits the plant provides. Well, to Babcock in a whole, it basically provides an in-house manufacturing facility where you can actually monitor and track your, the prog your progress on your, on, on your project. Um, we, it's the same for the client. The client is locally based if they wish um, to come and view the work being done. Other than that, um, in terms of the SA economy, obviously we supply some employment. We are obviously a manufacturing shop, so we buy parts locally as far as practically possible. Um, and if we need to import, we import if it's not available. So we service other businesses in terms of providing them with business and we create some employment opportunities when we do. Enslin highlights new undertakings at the plant. We're looking at automated welding. We had tried this exercise before. Um, we're resurrecting it now. Um, we do have some sort of automation in terms of welding, but we're looking at the thick wall components uh, mainly. We are looking at the services division as well in terms of NDT and valve uh, overhauling. Um, as well as getting additional machinery in the shop um, to keep all the services in-house instead of subcontracting or outsourcing some of the work as well. Enslin also touches on the new partnership with US-based Babcock & Wilcox and the benefits this would provide. That is actually quite an interesting collaboration as the BMW, Babcock & Wilcox is actually the technology owners and we obviously we utilize that, that very same technology. So they assist us in terms of bringing the best kind of service that we can possibly can to South Africa. And obviously we consult with them, um, they are a bit ahead of us in terms of technology. Uh, we rely on them a lot to give direction in, uh, in terms of the latest developments. And it's literally a partnership. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.